MTD are in rugby at Zeiss and I'm joined by Nick. Now, Nick, today we're going to be discussing the new product from Zeiss, the T-Scan 20. Firstly, just tell me a little bit about this new product. The T-Scan 20 is a handheld laser scanner. Um, we've, got, we've got the ability with the scanner to scan lots of different colours materials, so we can scan gloss black, chrome surfaces, the extremities of scanning, and it's got a 20 metre cube measuring volume. Now, Zeiss are associated with CMM technology predominantly. Why would you use it? What applications would you use a T-Scan 24? Primarily for doing organic shapes so if we, or large castings. So if you've got parts that are um, bigger than they fit on the CMM, or we need to take the scanner to the, to the part rather than moving the part to the CMM, we can take the laser scanner with us. We've got an optical camera on the beam here, and we take that and use that in combination so we can scan much larger areas very quickly. And when you say large areas, what's the capacity with the T-Scan 20? It's up to 20 metres cubed. So if we're scanning, for example, the side of a car or a clay model of a car, we would scan the front section of the car down the side, relocate the camera, which is all automatically done in the software, and then scan from the other side of the car, and we can join the data together to create a complete image. And approximately how long would that take? To do a car, you're looking at about two hours scanning to scan, the car, yeah, scan around the car. And for an engine block like we have here in front of us, how long would a component or, or casting like this take? 45 minutes to do, to do the casting, as much as we can scan with, with the T-Scan. Now you've given us um, a very insightful demo of how it all works and how you've checked this engine block. You know, when you transfer all of this data from the scanning to your computer and you've got a digital, um, digital uh, footprint, if you like, of the, of the component. What can you then do with that? Okay, there's the, the scanner itself creates a point cloud, and then the, so the software we use, which is iSoftware, converts that to an STL file. Once we've got an STL file, we can go into inspection, so we can compare that STL file to a 3D CAD model, and that's where, for example, foundries would use the technology to verify that they've got enough material before machining, and also to be able to date and parts for machining. The other option for us is we use for reverse engineering. So a lot of companies would start with a 3D scan and then we take that data into software and we apply surfaces to that software and create surfaces or solid models. The other big area at the moment of, of growth that we're seeing is for 3D printing. So we may take a part, scan it, and then create a model for 3D printing or we use the scan data to verify a 3D print. So there's three applications there that are, are, are really lend themselves to this technology. You mentioned the datum side of it for castings. Yeah. So being able to know how much material is on the casting in the right areas. What kind of tolerances do you check with with the T-Scan? The, the T-Scan itself is 80 microns plus or minus 40 microns per metre. So it's, it's, a, it's a good level of accuracy for that sort of application. If you want really, really high accuracy, then you move on to those ICMMs. So we cover the complete spectrum. You also got a probing feature. What kind of uh, features and elements on the components would you check with that? The probing we would use to measure the bores on there and any kind of circular pickup points where we've got a diameter that we need to get an accurate representation on. With the laser, we can scan a certain amount into the bore so we can get all the position. But if we want to get a much more accurate measurement, then we would use the probe. And also for areas where we can't actually get the laser just to see because of line of sight we can use a probe for measuring that as well. And for people that are not familiar with this technology and they may have applications that really do lend themselves to this technology, how should they get in touch with you guys to find out more? If you contact the sales office we, we can then discuss the application that you've got, find out if the application is suitable to this technology. If it is suitable then we'd arrange a, a product demonstration at your facility or at the Zeiss facility in rugby.